he's just rooting for the entire sports world. And unfortunately for him, last few years, Duke is the only one covering a base for him. Right? Maybe I just love sports now, more than the rest you, of you. You ever you think kinda, about that? You kind of <laughs> yeah, okay. you, you clap back at me about, well, Jameis won for Florida State. Okay, True. got it. Right? And you're like, because what brought up was you're fist pumping for Georgetown. That's when we had Clark Kellogg on yesterday saying that he thinks that they're going to outplay their 12 seed. And so uh, the reason why I think many people were in support of you is the way that we termed the video and we tweeted it out at Rich Eisen Show is like, do you know somebody – who has who likes 10 teams swears they're a diehard of all of them and i think the answer is yes a lot of people know that person or and maybe it's not as weird as you try to you guys try to make it out to chris me. it is weird right it's super weird man why you're is that weird? because you're, you're from all... a state that has teams in every sport multiple that's okay why and weird. who's that's my favorite basketball team that's the team that's in the state Philly. correct but, yeah, but that's, one, one, that's one out of ten. That's ten percent. And who's of your my team. favorite hockey team? The team that's in the state. Who's my favorite college football team? The team that's in the state. Right. That's what you normally. Okay. So now there's normally three. When you state that, that's all that's you. It. That's, that's all you got. That's the yeah. End of the list. You're done. That's three sports right there. No, but what I'm saying is you've added Florida State to the football part of Duke. Penn State. Okay. So then you added Duke. So added Duke yes. Then you added Duke to yes. your portfolio, mm-hmm. and then you add to the portfolio um the clippers, clippers? yeah because and i live in los add- angeles so again I, a, a state or a city that i live in and a team that i root for and yet nobody gives me credit for that like i yeah, like but this I, argument I, is so weird i've been having this argument my entire life and it really <laughs> irks the heck out of me was- just because you're from a little so if that was the case and everyone the Ooh. city the little hut that you were born in you stay there you marry your third cousin and, and then you <laughs> wow. just keep repopulating and then oh, you should wow. never leave your city Whoa. you should never leave your state Whoa. and you should just live there and like what's in front DJ, of you and none never of, explore. None of us live we're in the state that we're from and we but we still yeah, root all, for those teams. We're all carpet. First of all, you you not even from us. You're from Alaska. So uh, no, I'm no. actually from Pennsylvania. All right, then so you fall into this category. Is your favorite team the Pirates? No, it's the Red Sox. No, hold on a were second. Were you born in Boston? No, no but no. Your, as your point is though is that everyone has a journey. I mean, he he's hey. a he's a military brat, right? I mean, you're a Coast Guard uh, yeah. son of a Coast Guard. I moved to Maine in the early he 90s. He moved all over he's the a place. Boston guy. So but he still but he still he still decided one town that he he got to you know he's just going to stick with one town Mm -hmm. you have now like i moved to los angeles in 03 i think my reputation of despising the owner of the new york knicks is now well known to the point where it's become a a couple of times difficult for liz whale of uh the rich eisen show operation who handles celebrity bookings it's even come down to like hey (laughs) Are you going to bring up Dolan to this Nick fan that's coming on to talk about his or her movie or TV show? Because Look, Rich, we don't lose they kind of got, you know, like, exactly. <laughs> like, so my reputation is now even affecting, on occasion, the booking of the show. I moved out here. I'm, I'll take my kids to a Laker and Clipper game, but I'm not going to adopt one of them as my emotional capital sports teams. You know, like, I'm, I, I, I don't know. That's why we're, we're different. Mm-hmm. I think you're weird. <laughs> you think I'm 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 clearly touching a nerve with you with your mention of I don't know where third cousin came got, from. Got hot, like, got got that one came from. Know, it's the whole point uh, of like if you're like, from like this, somebody's provi- provincial love. If you're from here, then you got to root for this team. That 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 argument that just Seinfeld, never set. Seinfeld's well. joke has always been that fans root for the laundry. You know what I mean? Like they don't root for the player they just root for the laundry it, sports is provincial i mean that's that's it like you're talking about our hometown team that goes out and represents the city in a way that makes you puff out your chest because we are a champion we know how to get it done we know how to compete we know how to win we know how to be better than you and so you now are saying correct but i kind of think the same thing about this town too that i've just moved into do you right, right. What I'm saying? Our, our issue no. isn't with you kind of cherry picking, you know, not where you're from. That's totally fine. Our issue is like three teams per sport. Really? <laughs> not that you live in. You know I, I mean? realize that math isn't your strong suit, but I don't know. Not one of those sports where there were three teams. So well, they, no, they college, had, three college, college teams. Team, both college teams, because, you know, you did pick two basketball schools and two football schools. That would they would be known as. 
Okay. You know so I mean? where's the third? No, no. If so, but technically, that's three. I mean, four is more Duke, than Florida three. Florida State, Penn State. That's three. One, two, three. You know what I mean? Those are two different sports. Yeah, but see, but what happens wait, wait, if Duke wait. actually has a great what football team? You're gonna, you're gonna. See, root I, for I'm take... not gonna root for Duke football. No. Hey, you know, <laughs> here's the other thing I think <laughs> that you can't here's see. Thing, this is thing weird. That, is, is like here's another the, thing that annoys me this about this. Here's another thing that annoys me about this. It's like I'm someone who like like Michael Smith said yesterday, and I'm sure there are many fans like this. You find a moment. You find a person that draws you to that team that attracts you to the team that makes you want to root for that team all right the thing is this dude on twitter yesterday said oh fair weather fan first of all jabroni none of those teams have won anything recently <laughs> you know, so i don't know where you're, you're probably getting living fair, in a hut with his third cousin i, I, I don't know where the fair weather <laughs> thing comes <laughs> in no, no, and no, secondly no. that shows another thing that shows one that i'm loyal and two that that's i true. don't leave a team that w- when times get hard that i stick with them that's so, true this that's is true. normal tj i don't have a, a college football team I have a basketball team. Mm-hmm. I like what do you mean you have a college football team? Mike, what are you talking about? You talk to me about Seton Hall. Dame is, Seton Hall doesn't have a college football team. Right. I leave. I then can make allegiance yes, you to have a another team. Out. You've got a carve out. Exactly. In your, in your contract. My you sister goes to Notre Dame in the 70s. I become, with my father and my family, Notre Dame. Yes. My nephew goes. I now love Notre Dame. I'm allowed to like Notre Dame for that reason. If Seton Hall had a football team and I graduated from Seton Hall... You'd make fun of me. You'd make fun. You'd all make fun of me because I didn't cheer for my football team. But at the end of the day, I've been a Yankees fan. Mm-hmm. I've been no football team fan in my life until the Rams, which I officially have taken on, mm-hmm. good and bad. Because you're paying. Exactly. <laughs> and I'm a Notre Dame, and I'm a Seton Hall fan. At the end of the day, those are my four teams. I don't you, – if you start picking, oh, I like this team because they were good in, in this – like I was a Mets fan for a day when I watched them win the World Series in and 1986. You, and you created the K-Corner. When I created – after I created the K-Corner. But that's <laughs> – you're allowed to do that in theory. Just, ima- just imagine if I was a Lakers fan, a Red Sox fan, a Patriots fan, a fan of a teams that all won. Then that would be a conversation no, worth having. Here's the difference. Here's the difference. Here's the difference. And then here's the difference, okay? Let me just put a, a, a fine point on this – I'm not calling you lame. <laughs> well, no, you never said that because I'm, I'm not. not. No, <laughs> no, I'm not calling you a lame sports fan or a weak sports fan or a fair weather sports fan. I'm calling you weird. Right. Yeah, You're yeah, weird. Yeah. I'll accept You're that. Weird. You're weird. You're yeah, weird. We're not making it's... fun of you. We're just we just think it's strange. That's you that's know fine. exactly yeah, right. Fine. Mm-hmm. Exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. right. And and you know uh, like I can always. But, but you are diehard for all of those teams, you are. which you is. Are. Which, you know, is deserving of respect. We respect you for that. Yes, I do respect you yeah. for that. You could have just said this for yesterday now. for like 30 seconds and we wouldn't have to <laughs> no, no, no. go on down but this it's path. It's just weird. So, of making so, me call do the jabroni on TV. Florida, <laughs> Florida State versus Penn State for the national championship. Who, 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 what, what happens? In football? Yeah. Penn State. Okay. Duke versus Georgetown. Who, win, who, who it, am I rooting it, for? Yeah. Hoya. Paranoia. Okay, so then we now we're finding out who's yeah, like, the pecking like order. Clippers Sixers in yeah. the finals. Yeah, what happens? Yeah. At, which, by the way, could really happen this year. <sighs> okay, I, and I've had to answer this question a lot. Here's what happens: I'm rooting for a seven-game series. Stop it. From now on, I, that's it. It's all about the, the Larry OB because one of my teams is going to win. So <laughs> even when I lose, I win. So <laughs> so uh-huh. who are you rooting for? I don't know that one, man. That uh, one's tough. Boy, and that is gives you again two windows into my points, and then we'll finish it here. Two windows into my points. One, weird. <laughs> okay, weird. It's weird until it Guy happens. Guy from Pennsylvania who loves Dr. J and loves the Sixers and loves all of that mm-hmm. is totally taken torn, torn, yeah, by of all people of all teams. Clippers. The Clippers. If you guys knew. Weird. <laughs> weird. The and amount all, of time I spent weird. in Staples and Center. Two, and two, and two, I don't have the emotional capital. I would rather just root for one team, and if they make it, it's the ultimate thing that's the greatest thing of all time. I don't want, I, I can't, I can't, it's just, I don't have that space. I don't, I don't have the space. <laughs> I got enough room to take it. them all on, man. My, emo- my emotions are open. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.